Hey guys, Yvonne here at YvonneManna.com and in this video I want to address a very common question I've been getting and that is what to do when your Microsoft or Bing Ads account gets suspended. So you might see a page that looks like this when you log into your Microsoft Ads account. It says we've detected unusual activity in your account and we have therefore suspended your account. You might see a message that looks like this. You might see an email that looks like this. Any of these basically indicating that your account was suspended, what the heck do you do? Now, while I cannot give you a definite answer as to why your account was suspended because I'm not Microsoft and I can't tell you exactly how to open your account so that it never gets suspended, what I can do in this video is give you seven tips for what to do in case your account does get suspended to increase your chances of getting it back, of getting it reinstated, all right? And so that's exactly what I want to do in this video. Follow along with me. I'm going to go through all the steps based on my five years of experience with affiliate and online marketing and dealing with matters like this. I will share everything I know with you so that you can make the best out of your unfortunate situation of getting banned. Now, before I get into it, guys, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell icon so you get notified when I release more videos just like this, helping you make money online or giving you tips for how to get your accounts back in case you lose them, all right? So uh, that said, let's get straight into it. My tip number one for you, if you do get a message that looks like any one of these saying your account was blocked, is not to stress. Don't worry and don't freak out because this happens to a lot, a lot, a lot of people. Very legitimate businesses have their accounts suspended by Microsoft ads and they're sometimes able to get them back. So if your account got suspended, don't take it personal. Don't think that, oh, you know, Microsoft's targeting you specifically because it does happen to a lot of people, a lot of businesses, and you can get your account back, okay? So all you're gonna have to do is submit an appeal and I'm gonna get into that in a later tip, but don't freak out, take it easy. Just a few months ago, I was actually helping my friends set up a Microsoft Ads account. They wanted to know how to make money online, and, and so I told them, hey, let's create a Microsoft Ads account. As soon as we created the account, guys, before we even entered billing information, before we set up any campaign, the account was blocked, all right? So it can happen to anybody for any reason. It might not have to do with payment, might not have to do with your campaign or the offer you're running. It, we have no idea. There are a million reasons why Microsoft might suspend your account and we don't know most of them. So just understand that it happens to everybody and it could happen to you. And if that's the case, simply submit an appeal and hopefully you will get your account back. My tip number two for you is to actually lower your expectations because I know a lot of you are asking me, Yvonne, how do I create an account without getting banned? And guys, let me tell you, nobody, nobody can tell you the answer to this unless they are an engineer at Microsoft ads working on the algorithms to ban people's accounts. Nobody can tell you this for several reasons. One is if somebody tells you how to create an account, you know, quote unquote, how to create an account without getting banned, things that work for them might not work for you. I can give you a whole list of things you can do to successfully, you know, create an account, quote unquote, without getting banned, use a new credit card, use a VPN, try to use a different address, try to use a different email, you know, use a different computer, blah, blah, blah. But things that work for me might not work for you, right? Moreover, like I said, my friend just tried to create an account. You know, he has a blank slate. He doesn't have any history with Microsoft ads products, with any ad products in general, and his account was banned. So there's no guarantee that even if, somebody tells you, you know, the ideal solution for how to create an account without getting banned, it can still get banned for other reasons, right? We don't know what those reasons are. We don't know. Now, the second reason why nobody can tell you how to successfully create a Microsoft Ads account is that Microsoft constantly changes their algorithms, constantly changes their policies, you know, to catch bad people creating accounts. There are good people creating accounts that unfortunately get blocked, but there are also bad people, scammers that get blocked. And if somebody makes a video, a public video, you know, a lot of you have been asking me, Yvonne, make a video for how to create an account that won't get banned. Guess what'll happen if I create a YouTube video showing you exactly how to create an account that won't get banned. Microsoft is gonna see the video 
and their engineers are going to change the algorithm so that doesn't happen. They don't want people cheating their system, right? So nobody can tell you exactly how to create an account without getting banned. Lower your expectations. There's no such thing. So keep that in mind and the best solution really is to submit an appeal and get your account back. Unless maybe you made a mistake the first time you created an account, maybe there were some errors, maybe an incorrect address, incorrect payment information, things like that, in which case you can try creating a new account with everything correct that time, all right? So that's my tip number two, is lower your expectations and don't expect to see a formula that's going to foolproof allow you to create an account without getting banned. No such thing. Tip number three for you is when you do create an account, let's suppose you sent an appeal and you sent numerous appeals and that didn't work and you want to try to create a different account, maybe using a different payment method, maybe using a different like business address or something like that. You want to try to be as honest as possible. You don't want to use fake details, fake credit card information, fake address details. You know, these are multi-billion dollar companies we're talking about, guys. They can smell lies hundreds of thousands of miles away, right? So you want to be as honest as possible. You want to come in showing them that you are a legitimate business owner or a legitimate business or a legitimate person looking to make some money with affiliate marketing. You're not trying to lie. You're not trying to cheat. You're not trying to promote scammy products. You just want to promote on Microsoft ads. So do the best you can to be as honest as possible. This also includes using virtual credit cards. I know that these big companies, they're not huge fans of those because you know you can put in some money and then you can stop the funding. So they do prefer real credit cards. So if you have access to a real credit card, not a virtual one, like, an, like a real credit card that you don't have to keep on reloading, right? that has a limit, use that if you can. So try to be as transparent and as genuine as you can with these companies, because also later on when you submit an appeal, this is only going to work in your favor if you're as honest as possible, right? So this is my tip number three for you. Tip number four is very similar to this, and that is when you submit an appeal, be as honest, but also be as detailed as you possibly can. Don't submit an appeal to these companies saying things like, hey, my account got banned, please help me get it back, you know, or hey, what's up, why was my account banned? Be as detailed as possible, explain everything in very thorough detail, tell them who you are, tell them what you're trying to do, tell them the steps you took to create an account, and then ask them if there's anything you, you can do to verify yourself, to authenticate yourself, right? Show that willingness, show that initiative. If you want, take it one step further and maybe attach, you know, a driver's license, attach an, Im an image of your credit card or the last four digits of the credit card that you used to pay for Microsoft ads, that you, the card that you put on the account, right? So maybe your appeal should sound something like this. Hey, my name is Yvonne. I am an online marketer. I have been doing online marketing for the past five years. I heard about Microsoft advertising. I really wanted to get into it. And I went on the website. I followed all the steps. And as soon as I created my account, I got a message saying that my account was banned. Now, I'm not sure what the reason for that is. It says suspicious activity. All the details I have entered are in fact correct. They are details of my address. You can verify them by going here. And if you have some proof of that, like maybe a website where it shows your actual business address, things like that, attach that and then say, please let me know if there's anything I can do to help authenticate myself, to help prove that I'm real. Attached is my driver's license, my credit card I used. I am a legitimate marketer and I am trying to use your ads to promote my business, to promote my products. So let me know what else I can do and I look forward to hearing from you. Something like this, see how detailed it is, okay? It's much better than saying something like, hey, my account was banned, what happened, right? That's minimal effort. They want to see that you're legitimate. They want to see that you're real. And so when you put in this effort, it shows them that you're more real. You're not a robot. You're not a scammer. In fact, what I told my friend when his account was banned, I told him that, hey, these accounts get banned as a test to see if you're a scammer, to see if you're a robot. Because if you're a scammer, you might look at this and say, damn it, I've been caught, right? I'm not going to create another account. You guys got me. If you're a robot, well, you're done. You're not going to be able to submit a manual appeal with all of the details. But if you're a genuine, a legitimate marketer, a legitimate business owner, you will take that extra step, submit an appeal, and hopefully get the account back. And that's what happened with my friend. We did get the account back after a week or so. But that's the idea here, right? They want to distinguish between real people and scammers and spammers. 
So put in as much detail and as much honesty as you can in the appeal, and you should have much more success getting your account back than you would otherwise. My tip number five for you, and this one is probably the hardest of the bunch, is to wait after you submit an appeal. So don't try to create new accounts because if you incorrectly create another account and that one gets banned, now you have two banned accounts to your name, right? And that looks a little bit more suspicious to the Microsoft ads admins because now they're wondering why did you so quickly try to create another account and more likely than not with different details, right? Because if you'll be creating a second account, chances are you'll try to use different details, maybe a different address, maybe a VPN, things like that. So they might say, why did this user try to create another account with different details? Was he trying to get around our system? And that doesn't leave a good impression on you. Right? So what you want to do is submit an appeal, wait, it might take a while, I'll give you that it might take, you know, anywhere from a day to a week, if not more, but try to get busy, try to look for other ways to make money online. There are millions of ways to make money online, guys. You can go with Google ads, Facebook ads, native ads, email marketing. You could also go with just regular search engine optimization and just, you know, organic traffic. You could work on that as well. So while you wait, look at other ways. If you're a legitimate business owner, if you submitted an appeal with as much detail as possible, there is a good chance that you will get your account back. Okay. So just wait, give it some time and try not to create new accounts. Now, if you submit an appeal and it does get rejected after some time, or maybe you send several appeals and they all got rejected, you can try to create another account with different details. For example, different payment method, a different address, maybe a business address, things like that. And one thing I would suggest you do as well is when you head over to ads.microsoft.com to create your account, you, you should see a phone number here, right? It says, have a question, please call us. So what I suggest you do is to actually call the rep, okay? And have them on the phone with you while you create an account. Have them guide you, maybe get on a Zoom call if you can. Have them be there by your side as you create an account. And this is useful for several reasons. One is, if there are any issues that arise on the spot, the rep can take care of it right away, okay? So if you're doing something incorrectly, the rep can point it out, or if there is an issue going on, the rep can help you resolve it, things like that. Now, the other even better benefit of doing this is that when you submit an appeal, you can use this as a point to show that you put in the effort and to show that you're legitimate. Because in your appeal, you could also add by saying that, hey, I'm new to Microsoft Ads, I called your support. And everything I've done here was with the help of your support and my account was still banned. The support rep, as we were talking over the phone, told me to do this, this and that, and I did it and my account was banned. What's going on, right? Could you please clarify this for me? What do I have to do to authenticate myself? Do that and that should increase your chances of hopefully getting your account back if it was banned because now the rep was there, right? Microsoft was there guiding you. So there's no way you made some mistake because you don't know what you're doing. Everything should have been smooth. Now, on the other hand, tip number seven is don't rely too much on the reps themselves. Okay. So the reps aren't the ones who ban your account. So you can't talk to them and keep calling them and keep trying to get your account back because they actually have no idea why your account was back. What they might see is a page that looks like this and they'll say, Hey, we found some suspicious activity on your page. Like over here, I think uh, this one says we found unusual activity. You might see a page that looks like this, or you might see a page that says, Hey, we've banned your account because of one of the following reasons, payment method, you know, breaking our policy in terms. And the reps are just going to repeat that guys. So don't put too much emphasis. Don't put too much trust on the reps because they know as much as you. They don't know anything as to why exactly your account was banned and what you can do to get it back. The most they can do is send over your request to the higher up people who actually manage it, who actually are responsible for account bans and reinstatements. And that's about all. Okay. So there's not much point in constantly calling them and telling them why your account was banned. They have no idea guys, save yourself some time. And there's absolutely no way of actually getting in touch with the higher ups who are directly responsible for reinstating or banning accounts. There's no way at all to get in touch with them. Okay. So the most you can do is submit an appeal. And if you want, you can call the reps and just find out what the status of the appeal was, where it is, maybe how much longer it'll take. They can generally tell you a time frame 
although I don't think their time frame is based on actual time. It's more on the time that Microsoft tells you. So like when you submit an appeal, they'll tell you like, hey, we'll get back to you within 72 hours. And so the Microsoft reps basically just repeat that based on the time of your appeal, but they don't actually know where it's at. Although in some cases they will have some inside information. So if you sent an appeal, you could call them every once in a while and just find out what the status of your appeal was. So that is it for the tips. Hopefully you found this valuable. If you guys enjoyed this content, definitely take a look at my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Ivan Mana. I have over 450 free videos at this point, guys, that you can take advantage of. All of these videos on Google ads, Facebook ads, Microsoft ads, native ads that can really help you make money online. Things like how to make $400 a day on autopilot, things like that. You can also take a look at my website at ivanmana.com where I give you a free 55 page affiliate marketing guide and also offer training courses you can take to really improve your game and really learn how to use these ad networks and how to make money online. All right. That said, thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a comment if you did, and I will see you in the next one.